What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys one exercise that's gonna change your life the same way it changed mine. Basically, this exercise is the gateway exercise that's really gonna start taking your training to a whole new level. With this exercise, you're building a whole new mind-body-muscle connection, as well as learning a full body connection compound movement skill set. And that exercise is the muscle-up. When you're performing a muscle-up, you're doing a compound movement that's working the entire upper body incorporated with explosive strength, extreme control, and utilization of antagonist muscles, which means you're gonna be pulling and pushing to complete this exercise. While you're performing this exercise, you are firing up your abs like crazy, your lats, your shoulders, triceps, forearms, biceps, your chest, lower back, hip flexors, the list goes on and on. This is why this one exercise is definitely going to change your life in so many ways. It's gonna change your work ethic. It's gonna change how you train. It's gonna drastically increase your strength, your skills, your explosiveness, your control, and most importantly, it's gonna teach you how to utilize all your muscles together and to perform a lot more harder, more advanced exercises. For example, once you start learning the muscle up and you start incorporating it into your workout regimen, next you're gonna start doing explosive muscle ups, back clap muscle ups, 360 muscle ups, start free Freestyling on the bar. The great thing about calisthenics is that a lot of techniques and skills that you learn from other moves, it's gonna transfer into the next harder progressions and exercises that you're gonna learn in the future, which will in turn change your life. A lot of you ask me, how did you get to being able to do one arm pull ups, muscle ups, handstand, full planche, and so forth? And it's all about staying in that progressional state and working towards these certain exercises. You can deadlift, bench, curl in the gym for years and years and years. You're never gonna learn these exercises, which is exactly why this exercise is the gateway move to start changing your life, start changing the way you train, start to completely change your physique, your strength, your skill set, the way that you actually see fitness and true strength, and most importantly, it's gonna change the way that you motivate yourself. When I was first learning the muscle up, there was one thing that clicked in me that changed my life forever. And that was mentally thinking that something is impossible and then achieving that thing that's impossible and now realizing that the things that you think that were impossible are actually quite possible and all it takes is hard work and consistency. And the most important thing to remember is that it's not practice that makes perfect, it's perfect practice that makes perfect. You can try to do a muscle up for years but the moment you start training the right progressions, you're able to do the right requirements properly and comfortably, then you're gonna start seeing some major progress and that thing that was seemed impossible is gonna start to seem like, hey, you know what? Maybe I can do this. So once I started incorporating perfect practice, that means trying to practice perfectly, I started making progress and I started actually getting closer to that muscle up and I eventually was able to do one. And that simple accomplishment, just being able to do it, let alone the skills and the gains that you get from continuously doing them, just being able to do it was enough to motivate me to where I am here today. So I'm gonna show you guys how to start learning how to muscle up from the very beginning. Now before we begin to learn the steps on how to muscle up, we first must be able to pass the requirements comfortably and properly. And those requirements are gonna be at least 15 pull-ups. Keep in mind, all these exercises need to be with perfect form, at least 15 pull-ups properly. The next requirement is gonna be an L-sit hold for at least 20 seconds. And the next requirement you're gonna need is straight bar dips at least 25 in a row. You need that high number because you need to be really solid with that push. Imagine if your pulling is on lock, your pushing is on lock, then the muscle up is gonna be a piece of cake. And all you really need to focus on is technique, which is gonna bring us to that last requirement, which is L-sit pull-ups. This is gonna help a lot to start feeling that muscle connection between pulling and your core. So you wanna be able to do at least seven with perfect form. And if you feel like you can't reach those requirements yet, then you need to go back, practice, and master those exercises. Now, over the course of many years, I've taught literally hundreds of people in person how to muscle up. And from all of those experiences, I've been able to break down the muscle up into basically three steps. If you can master these three, steps, you're going to be doing muscle ups right after this video. So the first step I want to show you guys is something I like to call the magic button. So we're going to take a little resistance band. It can literally be anything. We're just going to mark the floor right here. We're going to put this on the floor. Now we're going to grab the bar, shoulder width apart, slight of an overgrip, and you want to be able to walk out from your tiptoes to where you're just hanging on by the tip of your toes. We're gonna start with our dominant foot on the ground and one leg is gonna be able to swing back and forth. Now with my right foot, I'm pushing on the ball of my foot. So my heel is off the ground and that's actually pushing me back so I can stay in place. So we're gonna be in this position right here and the opposing foot that's free, we're gonna have it pulled back like this. So we're gonna have this foot come straight, not up and down. It's gonna go straight 
past these bars, past your body straight, and once it gets to that marker, it's gonna go straight down. Having this straight down motion is gonna give your body this type of momentum. So the better you come in, it's all about timing. The better you come into the magic button, the stronger of a momentum you're gonna have, it's gonna be a spring that's gonna launch you back up. Now, if you guys have ever seen me do explosive muscle-ups, I already know how high I'm gonna go depending on how perfect I go into this magic button. Let me give you guys a little example. So you see a lot of the power stems from that magic button right here. So you guys wanna master this movement right here. If you notice when I'm doing this, my feet are always in front of my body. Never go behind your body, ever, ever, ever. That's gonna completely eliminate your momentum and this is literally gonna stop you from going up. With this magic button, you'll eventually be able to push the magic button back, back, back until it's closer to your body and you have less of the magic button, less than you're doing it from here. Eventually, you don't need to swing anymore and you just pull straight up. All right, so once you've been able to master this move, the next move I have for you guys is called the L-sit pullback. This move is gonna stem directly off of the magic button. The ending position of the magic button is actually gonna be the starting position of the L-sit pullback. And this is when we're gonna to start to be using a bit of momentum, but it's gonna be controlled momentum, and eventually we're gonna eliminate it so that we are actually doing them strict and properly. All right, so let's go right into this L-sit pullback. We're gonna start with a shoulder width grip slightly of an over grip, you wanna hold and squeeze as tight as you can. Remember, we're gonna go straight into that magic button, and as soon as we feel that dip, you're gonna feel a second of forward momentum, then you're gonna feel a stop, and then you're gonna feel energy start to pick back up and start to pull yourself back. As soon as you feel that energy start to pull yourself back is when you're gonna to begin to go up into an L-sit, don't go any higher, don't go any lower. Exactly 90 degrees. And going right into that 90 degrees and stopping is gonna give you that little pump to reach even higher than you normally do when you're pulling up on that bar. So keeping all of that in mind, let me show you guys what that looks like. Here we go. Now when you first try this exercise, you may not go that high. You might be doing little pumps, something like this. But eventually, you're gonna work on this move, you're gonna master this move, you're gonna master the timing in which your legs come up, and then when your legs come back down, and it should look like this. And you can basically see, we're basically right at the top of where that muscle up should be, which is gonna bring us to the third step. And if you've mastered these first two steps, then you've basically already done the muscle up. The last step is literally to lay over the bar. And this is gonna stem from the peak position of step two, the L-sit pullback. When you're at the top, 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 your highest point is when you're gonna pull that bar as close to your body as possible, and you're gonna to try to lean forward onto the bar, literally like you're trying to lay on top of the bar. And I've seen a lot of people go high enough. Literally, if you can pass your nipple line, then you are definitely capable of being able to execute a muscle up. The problem is, is that people get up to this point and they lean a little bit and then uh, they come back down, they completely give up. I can't stress it enough, you need to lean hard. Lean forward like you're gonna lay down on top of the bar. Once people finally commit to that concept, you see they start doing muscle ups like this in a second. So in the L-sit pullbacks, we're doing more of like a lat swing pull. We're kind of swinging further away from the bar, but now when you do the L-sit pullback, I actually want you to incorporate a pull up into it so that you're not swinging too far away. You're keeping the bar actually as close to your body as possible. So from this position, you're gonna swing up bring your legs up and you're actually gonna try to start pulling the bar to your stomach. So instead of doing this, you're gonna go boom right to the stomach. As soon as you feel like you've got the closest part to your stomach, you're gonna just immediately start leaning over and collapsing your body like a book. Let me show you guys what that looks like right now. So as you can see, I left my feet there and I let my body forward. Once I'm already on the top, then I can put my feet back down. And to get back down and do it again, you go through the same motion back to the magic button. Lean forward. Lean forward. And if you practice your straight bar dips, boom, that's a wrap right there. And 
And that is basically how you learn your very first muscle up. You really want to make sure that you guys are leaning forward. You can practice this while you're doing straight bar dips. Try to lean as forward as possible. You're going to condition yourself to always being on top of the bar. That's going to make this transition a whole lot quicker, smoother, and easier. The next thing that you want to do is really start making these muscle ups as strict as possible. This is going to tremendously increase your explosive power, your strength, and your overall physique and skills. And soon you'll be incorporating the same strength and skills into other exercises and the rest will be history. You guys will be doing handstands, handstand push-ups, full planche push-ups, and so forth in no time. And you'll still be doing muscle-ups because I still do muscle-ups and incorporate them in my weekly regimen. Weighted muscle-ups, closed grip muscle-ups, wide grip muscle-ups, explosive muscle-ups, 360 muscle-ups, and so forth. It doesn't end here. This is only just the beginning. So once you guys are able to master your first muscle-up, you want to start bringing that magic button a little bit closer. Start using less of a magic button, a little bit closer, start using less of momentum until eventually you're not using the magic button at all and you're pulling straight up. All right guys, so if you followed along this whole entire video, you're able to pass the requirements. You still feel like there's a tiny bit more that you can be working on to really execute this move. Here's a couple tips for you guys. Now, like I always tell you guys, if you guys are struggling with the concentric part of a movement, the positive motion of that movement, then the number one thing you need to do is work on the negative, the eccentric form of that movement. So doing negative muscle ups is literally one of the best things that you can be doing for extra credit to help you achieve the muscle up. When you're going through the negative motion, you're actually gonna be able to put your body into every position of a muscle up without actually having been able to do one. So you're gonna get really comfortable with these positions. You're gonna develop your muscles to being in these positions. It's gonna come a whole lot easier. And another major key tip that helped me achieve my strict form muscle up is explosive pull up training, specifically these two exercises. Explosive L-sit pull ups and I would sit on the ground in an L-sit position and from dead hang, just completely relaxed, I would try to explode as hard as I can and try to literally get my lap to the top of the bar. And the last tip I have for you guys is to start incorporating weighted pull-ups and weighted straight bar dips. Obviously, if you get comfortable doing an exercise with extra weight on you, then when you take off that extra weight, the same exercise is literally gonna be a breeze. You're gonna be flying through them. So with these requirements, these steps for the muscle ups and these tips, you guys should be able to do muscle ups with perfect form, strict muscle ups eventually, no excuses. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys achieve your first muscle up. If you do, let us know. And for more workouts just like this that are gonna have you in the best shape of your life, not just looking strong, but actually being strong, then sign up right now to Thenx.com. Become a member and get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are gonna have you shredded. Download our Thenx app in the App Store to take our workouts with you everywhere. It's like having me as a personal trainer in your pocket. And comment now within the first 30 minutes for your chance to win some free Thenx gear. We do this every Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you guys need some extra weight to start doing some weighted exercises, you can go ahead and pick up my weight vest at chrisheria.com. And before we go, I have a huge, exciting announcement. The Thenx team will be doing a North American tour. We're going to be doing workshops all around USA and Canada starting November 2nd to November 12th. So if you live in the USA or Canada and you want to attend one of our workshops, learn from us personally, then go ahead. The link will be in the description below. Go ahead and sign up right now while there's still availability. And I can't wait to meet all of you guys. It's going to be a crazy time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want the next video to be about. And I will see you guys next Sunday. Mad love. Peace out.